the deputy governor of Bank of Uganda was accompanied by other senior officers to the Public Accounts Committee to answer queries about alleged negligence in preventing fraud of billions of shillings. The Auditor General's report cites alleged flaws in the verification of signatures at the bank, which is said to have led to 61 payments of over 10 billion shillings without confirmation from the signatories. Don't you think in the, in the circumstances, if uh, you, you noticed that a uh, signature is obviously differing from the specimen, you would confirm with a person whose signature seems to be in default, other than the other one whose sign who signature is, is, uh, appears to be authentic? Verification of signatures mm. also came up in our own internal audit that uh, there appears, appears is the operative word here, uh, to have signatures of permanent secretary and other secretary differing. Mm. Okay. What we've decided to do as... Uh, no, 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 no. Before you take let me, I'm going, that's why I'm explaining this. Okay? No, no, no. You don't take us in, in, in the future. No, no, no. Not when in the future. To deal it, with is, it, it is part of this. Yes. Okay? That when someone says appears, we need a, a writing expert. Mm. The deputy governor was also tasked to explain the alleged withdrawal of 800 million shillings by staff from the prime minister's office in one month which went against the withdrawal limit of 20 million shillings set by the finance ministry. Therefore, can we as a committee and you with a clear conscience accept the fact, instead of smoothening it, that this money has been lost because you are sitting on an institution which is inefficient, is not operating as it should operate? I think the one point, honorable member, which comes out of this, okay? The system and its controls, and the controls that we put in place were abused. Investigations of the financial scam in the office of the Prime Minister have so far allegedly led to the loss of billions of shillings meant for the peace, recovery and development program in northern Uganda, prompting the UK and other donors to cut aid to Uganda. Chris Ochamringa, NTV.